How is everyone doing? I'm your Gibbs, and we have a special Dark Parable 5, the final Cinderella. This is the beta preview, or beta demo, whatever you want to call it, for the game. Let's just turn on the game just a touch here. So it's tough to kind of get that to figure out where I want it. Uh, let's see here, we've got a bunch of options here. Sparkles on, sparkles off. I think I saw that in another game recently, but I forget which one it was. But anyway, so that's that. This is a new game, obviously, and it should be out, I don't know. I would expect it to be out in the next couple months, based on the fact that the beta is out now, but we will never know. Sometimes it's a shorter time, and sometimes it's a longer time. Anyways, I've only actually played the last one, which is Red Riding Hood Sisters, and I loved it. Uh, I do plan on playing Dark Parables, the final Cinderella when it does come out. And uh, why don't we just get right into it? Why don't we just uh, not waste any more time? Blue Tea Games, indeed. The final Cinderella. I'll definitely find you tonight. Cirilla! Help me, sister! Wait, Cirilla! No! She's not the one! Wait! Cinderella is nearby. Once I capture her, I'll revive you, my love. Twelve hours later. I want to go to Southern Italy. Who wants to meet me in Southern Italy? Welcome to the Matisse Mountains, Detective. Last night at midnight, three girls turned into glass while attending a ball at a mysterious mansion. Similar incidents have happened in the past in other parts of the world. Our research indicates that this might be the work of Godmother, a mysterious, powerful witch who is said to be over a thousand years old. Rumors say that she has spent decades searching for Cinderella, the legendary pure-hearted maiden. Once Godmother captures Cinderella, we fear that she will use her newfound powers to wreak havoc upon our world. Your mission is to uncover Godmother's plot, find Cinderella, and protect her from Godmother. Good luck, Detective. Welcome, Detective. Would you like a quick tutorial? Uh, we're gonna say... yes, we would. The cursor will change into a magnifying glass when you can zoom in on an area. Uh, before I get into this, I found that intro excellent. In fact, I found it extraordinary. I, I don't know if I've played a game recently that had such a well-done introduction that gave me all of the details behind the story right off the bat. Of course it didn't tell me all of the mystery behind the story, but it certainly gave me enough foundation to know what the hell I'm doing. Anyway, let's get back into it. You can find many useful items throughout your mission. That looks like a glorious key. Uh, let's see here. Miss Catherine Baloney's company is requested at a ball on Friday the 19th of July, 8 o'clock in the evening in the ballroom of Hilltop Mansion. This invitation is addressed to a girl named Catherine. Did she drop it here by accident? I don't know, good question. Alright, so this is basically going to be me playing about a half an hour of the demo, or the beta. Uh, I will link to you in the description down below for uh, Wordfire. Uh, she did the full 45 minute or so uh, beta if you want to watch the entire thing. Uh, generally, I just want to get feel for the game and share with you uh, sort of what's up and coming. Uh, but uh, anyways, Warfire, she's gone ahead and 
explain the entire thing and why not share that with everyone. What do we have here? It's like an old mailbox. I will need the missing part. Not the puppet key. So here's something funny. Puppet key. And <laughs> we're not playing a puppet show game. This is such a charming statue of a young girl. I wonder who she is. Okay, so it looks like we can go that way. Oh, creepy. What do we have here? Who was that? She disappeared so fast, I barely caught a glimpse of her. Two plated theme coins must be used to unlock the gate. Alright, well, we better get cracking on that. Whoever owns this opulent mansion must be very rich. Not just rich, but very, very rich. Ooh, I like this mini map over here. Oh, I see one of the glass maidens. When the cursor changed to her hand, you can interact with the object. <laughs> Sparkling location shows an area of interest relevant to your investigation. The mansion emblem is hidden in this area. Get that. Oh, okay, so we gotta go through and do the fragmented object scene here. Yes, uh, that, that is what is a little bit different about the Dark Parable series, is they do the fragmented objects. And uh, that does prevent Gibbs from doing his normal random clicky clicky, but uh, nonetheless, I still enjoy it because I find the story in the Dark Parable series fabulous. Yeah, I think it's just because I'm a fan of the Grim Fairy Tales. So... Oh, let's see, what else do we need to get here? Let's go ahead and click on that. And maybe... Oh, we need a little carriage. Let's see, where is the carriage? Oh, and the rats, too. I want those grapes to be something, but they're not. Darn. So we're building the mansion emblem. That little unicorn is always a clever thing. So we got three. So I guess they're not really items, they're more pieces left to collect here. Wow, that's a big diamond there. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's that uh, little creature. And we've got two more. Now, where is this one and where is that one? They both kind of look. Sort of the same, I guess you could say. What is really challenging about these scenes is the the scale to these objects is never exact. So I always struggle with that, which is it's good. It's a good thing. It's a good challenge, I think. Would love to hear about your thoughts on the Dark Parable series. If you've played them all, or which ones you have played, or if you are looking forward to the final Cinderella. See, I clicked that, I'm pretty sure I did, but clearly I didn't. Okay, let's see if we can... Oh, I actually had it all done anyways. Oh crap, I didn't realize that. Normally I do hint on the last thing in a scene just because I like to get the game going. So, the bird. That, this bird looks ready to peck my eye out. That's me. Oh, he dropped something. Ivory Gates token. Is this cherub? Yes, glass cherub. Where did the glass maiden go? I can't see her anywhere. She like fell through the friggin' floor here. Alright, how do I get this bird out of here? Get out of there, bird! <laughs> Give me that thing at your claws. Alright. I'll be back for you, bird. Alright, let's see if this emblem is uh, good for us. Oh, look who's up there. Need to investigate the mansion, but the mansion door is locked. But I have this thing. Go. Alright, we're ready to go inside. I think this is for over here, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Just uh, to collect, carry those around. The mini-map pinpoints your current location and highlights areas of interest. I am liking this mini-map. This is really, really awesome. Alright, you are here. You are here! Alright, another glass. Oh my goodness, what's with the giant fist? Well, that can't be good. 
Chapter number one, a giant wooden hand. Just grab the glass beam. Yeah, I'm kidding. Looks like we're missing a vase. Oh, it's just a decorative flower holder. Isn't that, isn't that the name for a vase? Ooh, he's got red eyes. Hey, she means her evil. What could this monster want? I don't know. Giant bees must be really strong. It smashed through the wall like it was paper. Okay, so it looks like I need a leafy handle. Looks like we have another key there. Puppet key. I don't know if that's that. Here. No. Oh, okay. Well, let's go this way then. Ooh, who's hiding in here? Is it a ghosty? Hi there! Ah, this must be one of the glass maidens. This is number three, I think. Is she gonna get stolen too? The glass maiden has a horrified expression on her face. Who is she? I don't know. She doesn't look too happy. Okay, so we need some more parts. Lots of more stuff go there. Cherub goes there, it looks like. Feather... Fan? Looks like the classes, classic Cinderella story. Uh, okay. Sure, I'll buy that for a dollar. Who's this fella? Keyhole the puppet's chest awaits the right item. I have a puppet key. The puppet's central organ has been removed. Ew. It's kind of gross, actually. Alrighty then, uh, let's see, let's go back to the cabin. The cabin, the cabinet. Huh. That's awesome. Who was that? Her laughter sounded villainous. It's because she's a villain. Face powder box. Oh, we can go upstairs and do that. It's a glass slipper! Ooh, tasks. Find the owner of the glass slipper who might be an intruder in this mansion. Alright, another fragmented object seen here. Let's go ahead and get cracking on this one and I'll try to pay attention this time and waste so much time. <laughs> I thought I was looking for two pieces last time. Oops. Okay, let's see here. I like the music too, it's very nice. See this is a artwork that's really well done for for my liking anyways. Uh, every even when I was playing the Red Riding Hood Sisters, I was I am a big fan of the Red Riding Hood fiction, so that's really helped out a lot. But I'm also a huge fan of the Cinderella fiction too, so kind of expect to have uh, a lot of fun with this. Alright, well what am I looking for here? I'm looking for clock gears. Oh, there's the chain there. Uh, so what else do we need? Is that actually assembled? That's kind of what I'm... I think it is. I think I've got two items left. A wing and whatever that thing is there. So I'll have to keep on looking for it. Let's see, where is it? It's gotta be around here somewhere. That would also kind of mess me up too, is when the colors are a little off, and I'm like looking for a bronze, and it turns out being silver or something. It's like, ugh, game, you tricked me. Okay, let's find out where the slipper is. See, what the hell is this? What am I looking at here? I don't know what I'm supposed to be clicking on. See? Didn't I just tell you what the colors? Urgh, game. Okay, so this means that this doesn't necessarily have to be white. There it is there. Alright, we've got clock gears. Let's see what else we have here. I can see the clock tower in the garden from here. To make the item float upward I so I can grab it, I'll need liquid. Bottle of wine. Yeah. That's kind of a waste though. Alright, we have clock hands. Oh, a mosaic of some sort. Let's see one of its parts. Okay, so let's go back here. 
Oh, if the food needs to go here. Where was it? Oh no, I guess not. Is this where the gear goes? Yep. Uh, what do we have here? The clock is missing one number. Number 12. Alright, what are we doing now? Interact with each part of the puzzle until all five central icons are lit. Uh, oh, I love the sound of that. I'm going to assume that it's a glass slipper. No? Yay, glass slipper. Uh, make them all bloom? Yeah. Rapunzel! Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair! <laughs> I like the way he's climbing up there. That's awesome. Alright, what do we have here? Alright, that didn't take much to do that one. And then, what do we have over here? Oh boy. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing here. Doesn't look like I can... Hmm. Oh, maybe I have to line it up here. I see. Oh, wow, okay. It spins farther one way than it does the other way. Oh, you're killing me, game. Alright, let's go back this way. Hopefully this is the right order. <laughs> around and around we go. Come on, game. Faster. If this fails, I'm just gonna skip it. And that's just because I'm playing the beta here and I wanna get further into the game rather than puzzle like this. Of course, when I play the game properly, I would play the puzzle properly. Again, I'm just wanting getting a sense of the game, give you like, give all of you folks a nice view of the game. Maybe encourage you to, to walk Detective, by it too. I'm Catherine. My stepsister Cyrilla turned into glass at the ball last night. An old lady had given her a new ball gown and glass slippers last week. Those clothes must have been cursed. I saw that old lady enter the mirror just now. Please help me figure out how to activate this mirror, Detective. Wait, how does she know I'm a detective? And I flash my badge? Here, take this. I found this figurine in my search of the mansion. Cinderella figurine. Cool. Uh, let's see what else we have over here before I get too crazy. I'll take that. Final Cinderella. What it, I don't even know what that means. Detective, I just found this picture fragment. Where do you suppose this belongs? I know exactly where it belongs. Uh, what's this all about? Interesting, there's a wedge, a wedge of cheese locked in a jar. And the code is... more cheese? I think so. Whoa! When those vines burst out of the mirror just now, I was really scared. Yeah, Have you no, figured out how to use this mirror portal yet? Thanks to us. I don't know if you No? No? Okay, let's go ahead and do here then. Ornamental vase or ornamental vase. Okay, so I know where that's gonna go once I can get it built. Once I figure that out. I like the, the jester's hat there. It's kinda clever. Bits and pieces of a vase should not be too hard to pick out of all this mess. Green blob there. Okay, so that's done. There, there. And one more thing here. Oh, I got two over here. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I see it's upside down. Oh, <laughs> so cool. So challenging. Uh, oh. Nicely hidden. 
Put it all together and what do we get? Very fancy vase. Have you figured out how to use this mirror? No, I have not. Let's just look at the map here. Uh, looks like I still have things to do there. It's kind of neat. The vines went everywhere. So this here. Come on. Now I... Oh! Boom, boom, boom. Wisdom medallion and hand mirror. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the hint button just to see what it looks like. It's telling me to go up here. Let's have a look. Okay, looks like we have a hat here, I guess. <laughs> wow, these are vines are everywhere. Oh, I need to collect four of those, do I? Uh, Alright, well, let's go ahead and... Probably gonna skip this if we can. Depending on what kind of puzzle we're dealing with. Oh, I do like these puzzles, though. Alright, let's see what's this here. Dress. Uh, let's see. That probably goes here. Something like this. Nope, that doesn't look like it at all. Whose hand is this? Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so there we go. Now we're in business. How do I get over here? Oh, there we go. There we go. Shoot, I think I gotta go over more, don't I? Yes, I do. Move everything over. Now we're on to the gentleman. Let's see, where is he? Uh, do I have to rotate? Yes, I do. Oh, good grief. Oh, good grief. Oh, I just have to rotate? Okay, that I can deal with. It's actually a little surprising. Didn't expect that. With his elbow. his pants on that side. I liked it. I like the mix of rotating and dealing with the uh, getting the puzzle made here. No, oh, this is kind of crazy. What's over here? From here I can see Catherine searching for clues in the ballroom. What the heck was that? Forbidden Grove. These cups of blue tea are still warm. Oh, isn't that a clever, clever play on the company's name that made the game? Uh, that is super cool. Okay, so what do we need here? Do we actually put fingers here, or what are we doing here? I don't know. Was someone just here? Maybe. Oh, I just put there, did it? Okay, let's see here. I don't know if, uh, what do we have here? Empty slots, a weight. Oh, this is, yeah. That's, that must be a mirror. Looks like a blade or a knife. He needs his heart. Uh, let's see what's in here. Needs the cheese thing. Let's go back outside to the gate here. I don't know. No. This one. Huh. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about that too. I need this. Can I throw a shoe at it? What if I fan it away? Oh no. No such luck. 
Alright, so it looks like I have to go back to the ballroom. It doesn't allow me to fast travel there. That's okay, the mini-map kind of helps quite a bit. Look at this, I can... I think I can do this too. Oh, I just bring it there. Uh, ballroom, right? Okay, tell me what to do. Oh yeah, that's right. Shoot, I forgot about that. Oh, this one? Really? I only have one of those. That's yuck. Hmm. Parables. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Huh. That's the way this uh, game is kind of designed, is as you go through the chapter, you have to collect all these parables. It's cool. Alright, hey, tell me where to go now. This way. Again. Up here. Ooh. There's a book here. Oh, another parable. Yep. Three or four, everybody. There's a knife we need. Feather, it looks like. She must be looking for Cinderella, the girl with the purest heart and soul. Uh, what's in here? All sorts of good stuff in there. Camera. Okay, well we have the knife, so we can go back here. Nope, sorry, here. Put that knife in there. Or comb, sorry, comb. I don't think you want to comb your hair with a knife. Was that the old lady whom Catherine mentioned? I think I've seen her around the mansion. Uh, let's see, I think this is where this goes. I don't have Prince Jeremy here. The fluffy accessory that the lady was holding has disappeared. The feather thing. Yay. I know what we get. Royal clothing collection. Nope, oh, that's not what I want to do. What do we have here? With the sparkling crystal formation in the way, the wardrobe cannot be opened. What are we doing here? Oh. Agnes Koch, the second Cinderella? I need to collect the items to finish the collection. That was a neat. We need to get her shoes, her boots. In a royal parasol. Hmm. Clever. Alright, wooden mouse. I'm not even sure what I need a wooden mouse for. Hmm. No worries. I'll figure that out eventually. Come on. Let's keep an eye on down here. So we need... What do we need? We need the mouse head. More checkers. This piece too. Let's take a drink of my coffee here. Mm. Alright, we found that piece over there. And that deals with the head. Where's this piece? This checkered piece. There it is. Okay, now we get two more pieces. A U and this with two eyes. Mm. Do you see it? Skib's not uh, doing a good job here. Finding stuff. Wow, that actually, I actually saw that at the beginning, but it didn't even dawn on me. It's odd. Alright, what the heck do we need one of those for? Whoa! Something did fall down. A tank. Oh, we can put that mask on there. And there's the Frog King. Ooh, okay. Frog King. That must be... Is that a reference to one of the earlier? Games. The Exiled Prince, maybe? Just taking a guess. Sorry, I never played it. Alright, let's see here. I actually have all of the Dark Parables. I own them all. I just haven't had a chance to play them yet. It's a mirror that's possessed. Look out, Detective! <laughs> Everything oh no. I found is in it. Catherine, don't go.
father grabbed onto Catherine. Well, this is where I actually pause right now and stop the beta here. I'm loving it already. I guess that's really no surprise. The Blue Tea Games folks put together fabulous games. So, go ahead and let me know what you think about the game so far in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time. I'm your Gibbs. Bye bye.